This video is brought to you by the Deck of Mini and their Big Bad Booklet series. Hello and welcome back to the Gallant Goblin. I'm Theo and today we're taking a look at a set of modular minis from a company known as Hand of Glory. These are pewter minis with one very special property. There are little magnets in the arms that let you switch out the weapons and items they're holding on the fly like that. I wanted to review this set because this week, the Hand of Glory launched their second Kickstarter. So if you like what you see, this is a good chance to hop on board with the new set. We'll be announcing the winner of last week's giveaway at the end of this video too, so stay tuned for that. For now, let's take a look at the Hand of Glory. The Hand of Glory Kickstarter funded in August 2017 and launched with 11 pewter minis and 130 weapons and accessories. The minis and accessories are made from a lead-free pewter. Now, I think these are the first pewter minis we've covered on this channel. Most minis these days come made in plastic or resin, but pewter minis have been around for ages and are still pretty popular. They certainly have more heft than your plastic minis, though they're still susceptible to bending, as you'll see with some of the longer weapons in this set. As with the plastic minis, you can heat these up under hot tap water in order to gently bend them back into place. Pewter minis require a bit of prep to paint properly. You'll want to remove any bits of excess molding that might appear on some of the minis with some clippers or a little X-Acto knife. About half of these minis needed a little bit of cleaning up. Next, you'll want to wash everything using an old toothbrush and some warm water with some dishwashing soap. Let everything dry out, and then they're ready for priming and painting. The minis don't require any assembly beyond installing the magnets, which we'll get to in a moment. The minis are in heroic scale, or 32 millimeters, and range in size from 25 millimeters to 40 millimeters. Each figure includes a 25 millimeter slotted base, which is the same size as the bases of our regular D&D, Pathfinder, and Starfinder minis from WizKids, and they include rare earth magnets to install in the wrists. The minis are generally right in line with the size of our WizKids minis, though some of the Hand of Glory humanoid minis are a little bit taller. Overall, I think they'll fit in just fine with the rest of my collection. Their hands can look a bit oversized to accommodate the weapons, but I don't think it's too distracting. Once everything is out on the table, they blend in pretty well. To make the system work, you'll install the little magnets into the arms of the minis and steel pegs into the hand cavities of the accessories. For the magnets, you'll use the included Allen key to hold the magnet. Just dip it in some super glue and press it into the arm cavity. The steel pegs are similar. You use an Allen key with one of the magnets attached to the end of it. Pick up the steel peg, dip it into the glue, and then press it into the hand cavities. It's a simple process, but it does take a good bit of time if you have more than 100 accessories that need setting up. Sometimes the hand cavities can be a little bit too small to hold the steel peg, so you'll have to take a little file and sand it down a bit. I only needed to do that for a handful of the accessories, but I also haven't installed the pegs in all of them just yet. One thing that helps is gluing one of the little magnets to the Allen key to help with the plug installations. If you struggle with fine motor tasks, it can be a bit frustrating for the ones that are a little bit of a tighter fit, but overall it wasn't too bad. It would be nice if the plugs came pre-installed, but I imagine that labor cost might increase the overall cost for us by a decent amount. Then you just need to slot the minis into their bases, which is a pretty simple process. The only other assembly needed is gluing some of the hands to the back of the shield accessories, but that's easily done with super glue. Every accessory works with every mini. Now some accessories feature a left hand and others feature a right, so you may have to play around with them a bit to make certain combinations look natural. Luckily, you can sometimes make an accessory work in the opposite hand if you turn it upside down and just consider that the mini is holding the item underhanded. It's pretty hard to tell anything is amiss once the mini is on the table. You have to be a little bit careful with your painting as well to ensure that all the hands match all the minis. Either they'll all need to have the same skin tone, or all the hands will have to be wearing a gauntlet or gloves. Just keep that in mind when you paint. The strength of the magnets is just about right. The accessories stay attached just fine as you move the mini around the table, but they're very easy to swap out during gameplay. There are only maybe two or three extra long and heavy weapons that can droop a little bit if nudged. 
Right now, as we're recording this, you can pick up the minis themselves for between $6 and $10 on their web store. The Thief, Samurai, and Dwarf are $6, and the Demon is $10. The rest are all $8. Most of the accessories are a dollar a piece, but some are $0.50, cents and a couple go for 2 or $3. They also sell them in bundles. You can get all full set of 11 minis and 130 accessories for $150. You can also get all the minis by themselves for $65, and you can also get subsets of the accessories for various prices. This set of 20 items is priced at $15. It includes some basic items like the sword, shields, torch, and an axe, plus a few fun things like playing cards in a frying pan. This set of 30 accessories, called Series 2, is $25. It includes more varieties of axes, swords, and shields, plus staves, a crossbow, a shovel, and an elixir. Series 3 here includes 60 accessories for $45. Some of the fun items in this set are a lantern, a tavern stein, a crowbar, an orb, a throwing star, plus all manner of daggers, swords, and staves. And Series 4, which contains 20 items, is $30. Many of these are somewhat larger than the accessories in other sets. You've got skulls, scrolls, a book, and even a little dragon familiar. They also have a set of empty hands for $3, four musical instruments for $3, and six spell effects for $5. My items arrived from the Kickstarter in little bags like these, and I'm not sure if this is still how they arrive once they're shipped, but one nice thing is that everything can fit inside this little shipping box for storage. Now, I've had these minis for about a year and a half now, and I haven't had them hit the table just yet to see how they work in practice. The only reason I haven't done that is because I have a lot of pre-painted minis, and I tend to favor those. Plus, since we've moved, most of my games have been online. I really just need to sit down and paint these up. Now, some game systems and DMs are a bit more rigid in how they handle what each character has in their hands at a given time. These minis are really ideal for those types of games, as your players can't argue that they were really holding a dagger instead of a crossbow when that attack of opportunity presented itself, if their mini is clearly holding a crossbow on the table. For other games where the rules may be a little bit more lax, it's still pretty dang cool to be able to change up what your mini is wielding when they find new gear or switch out their melee gear for ranged. It really is just up to you on whether this is a tremendously awesome customization or if it's just overly fiddly and excessive, but it's certainly a great option to have. However, with only 10 PC type minis plus the demon, it's a bit of a crapshoot on whether one of these matches your or your player's characters. In an ideal world, all the players in a particular game would be able to use one of these minis, and then you could pull your money to go in for a set to share all the accessories. But you can also just get the one mini that matches your character, and then pick up the individual weapons and accessories that your awesome half-elf bard uses. This all brings me to the second Kickstarter, which ends in the morning of March 31st, 2020. The new collection includes 11 new figures. Here are our hero minis. We've got a bit more of a gender variety, plus the inclusion of a halfling and a dragonborn. This set also includes two monster minis, the Undead Knight and the Mutant Goliath with four arms. We don't have samples of these figures to show you, unfortunately, but if and when they do reach a thousand backers, they're supposed to unlock another mini, though I have no idea what it is right now. The new set is 100% compatible with the old set, so you can use all the accessories with all the minis. They do say that the magnets used in the new set are twice as strong as well, so that's good. Uh, again, you can get different bundles depending on what you like. Most of the accessories are new varieties of standard weapons, but this set also includes some more mundane items like a quill and a pipe, a hammer, a wrench, a saw, and a padlock. Uh, this set also includes a few items with chains, things like a flail, a grappling hook, or shackled hands. There are also some animal familiars on chain leashes, like a dog and a so-called worm monkey. And they have a few flaming weapons as well. They're unlocking new items via the stretch goal system, so the more money they raise, the more items they unlock at various tiers. You can get everything in the new Kickstarter for $145 plus shipping. They also have other bundles if you want subsets of what they're offering, and you can always wait until they hit the web store if you prefer. You can find a link to their Kickstarter and to their web store in the video description below. Let me know what you think of these new minis in the comment section down below. 
This is something quite different from the typical minis we cover on the Gallant Goblin, so I'm curious to hear what you think. Now, our winner of last week's giveaway is Faust Harbinger. Congratulations. Contact me at thegallantgoblin at gmail.com to receive your Beetle and Grimm's gift certificate. We'd like to thank our sponsor for this video, the Deck of Mini. They have a new product line out called the Big Bad Booklet Series. So, as many of you may know, the Deck of Mini is primarily known for their reference cards. We've reviewed them on our channel and videos you can see by clicking the eye in the corner of your screen. They have an ongoing and popular Patreon where you can subscribe to receive new cards each month. They got started on creating their own narrative content too with Humblewood, and now they're making these monthly boss monsters ready to drop into your 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons game. This month, they have Miss Speckleback an enormous frog monster who loves to feast on her own magical eggs, and foolish adventurers who venture too close. Each booklet will contain all the stats you need, plus plot hooks, layer actions, and everything you need. Visit BigBadBooklet.com to learn more and subscribe today. Thanks as always for watching. We do not have a Patreon, at least at the moment, but if you'd like to help us, there's a couple of things you can do for us. First, check out our sponsor at bigbadbooklet.com and let them know that the Gallant Goblin sent you. You can also leave us a like and a comment down below, which helps the video show up in more people's feeds. You can also share the videos with your friends. And let me know down below the other products or minis you'd like to see us cover. I really appreciate your continued support. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time at the Gallant Goblin. <music>